What is going on YouTube? This is Crane94. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, if you just watched that insane episode that I just uploaded recently, the, actually the previous episode, just know that that was wild. I made a lot of choices and I was able to save a lot of people. So how badass is that? And uh, looks like we're here with Marcus and we're here at his old, uh, his old man's house. And this is well after uh, Connor was thrown into the dumps. And it's just kind of cool to be back here. Because uh, I was always wondering if he would ever return. Hey, Carl was his name. Hi, Dad. I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. Oh, cool. He just... I, uh... Sorry about everything that happened. I'm gonna stop all that shit. Uh, it messes me up. It, it, it turns me into somebody. Angry. He survived. I'm glad he survived. We never killed him. Yeah, hey, I'd like to come by and, and see you tomorrow. If that's alright with you. I, I just want to let you know. I'm I'm proud to be your son. I'm glad he survived. That's awesome. I'm glad he never ended up dying. Oh, there's coat racks and stuff. I don't think I can go through. I think it's got to be upstairs. The door opened. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. He's not going to convert. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Marcus, I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? I just wanted my people to be free, but instead I've led all of them to disaster. Carl, I'm trying to find answers, but everything around me is falling apart. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a dam. <sighs> well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color, but I know part of me is in you. That makes me want to cry, bro. That's awesome. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. I feel like he's gonna die right now. Uh. 
man. What a intelligent, thoughtful man. I'm glad we got that interaction between them. That was nice. I wonder where this is at. New Jericho? You guys need to go underground and stuff, man. Fighting, huh? That's what it says. Talk to your people. Apologies, Kara. Decide Connor's fate. Let's talk to Kara first. Is this Connor? No, this is North. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Oh. I'm glad I got that bond with her. Damn, bro, I just it makes me question my own reality, man. Uh, talk to your people, all right? I got a couple of things, Car, and then I got Connor. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Still chips me out that Alice is is an android. This entire time I thought I was taking care of a little girl and uh I can probably talk to him. This is Sean. I think this is Sean. I, I Josh maybe? I can't remember this dude's name. People are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. Simon.
feel like if people knew what he did to get to become alive and stuff and start leading the people, they'd probably like kick his ass. Like Connor's fate. Where is Connor? I don't see him. Is this him over here? No. Uh, my buddy. I think this is Josh. Wait, is that Connor? No. <clears throat> that dude messed up in the back. He's like the one dude that doesn't if like me. For you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Josh. I knew somebody's name was Josh. Okay. <sighs> I got everybody on my side. Here's Connor, wearing all black. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? That'd be actually suicide. Would it be suicide they trust though? Me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. I feel like Sandy and Connor that have more people on his side was would be best be that that's badass. Yeah, let's do that. Of my choice. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. I wonder if they've. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Sometimes you gotta fight, right? Cause the demonstration, right? To pressure the authorities will get killed. They just start to slaughter at our people. But I feel like if I do a revolution, we might die, but we can launch an attack. Oh, man, this is a hard decision, right? Can't go backsies. I want to do what's right and just peacefully march. Sometimes you have to fight. I'm going to choose a revolution. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom and we will succeed or die. Like how Josh is like, I'm with you no matter what. Are you ready to follow me? That was a hard decision for me to make right there. Uh, you know, no cap, it really, really was. I just thought back to what Carl had said about, you know, uh, 
sometimes you have to fight to make a difference and that's what i was thinking because like you know i've already tried the peaceful approach and it just it hasn't gotten us any and they're still exterminating us so it's like well then i will have to liberate my people we will have to go from there so let's take a look at this before we go on to the next episode guys <sighs> Deteriorated, yeah, it's crazy, man. Let's see, listen to Leo's message. There's a couple of things I could have done. Oh, I could have explored the house a lot more. Something else could have happened. Another path. Erica was attacked in Crossroads. That's an unlock thing. I probably could have done something else, maybe. Yeah, look, there's a bunch of possibilities. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thanks for joining me today, guys. It's, you know, I'm still filming the same day I'm having these issues with my eyes. It's just the allergies and mucus and all this buildup. It, it, you know, it's crazy. It can barely see. So it's affecting the way, uh, the way I'm playing right now. I believe I'm just going to get off for now and just enjoy the rest of my day. But it's, it's been a pleasure to, to play these games for you guys and, and just bring out more content and I'm glad that I, I finally have kind of like a set schedule for myself and I'm staying committed to it as best as possible. I understand my my upload times have been kind of throughout the week because I've been making up for the lack of content and videos that I've been posting. All right. But uh, I still want to keep it consistent with Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. But I, I've been uploading extra videos over the day so I keep the the views coming in, especially because uh, since the last of us part two on my channel's ended, it, I've really taken a, a tank on my channel as far as views go. So I appreciate the people that continue to watch these these walkthroughs with me, and I, I do appreciate it all. And so I just want to say thank you to the fans that have been sticking with me, and to anyone new out there, if you've made it this far, thank you for coming this far and, and making it out to me. So appreciate it. You guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one.